Okay, hello, I'm back after just uploading uh, Floss Tube number 15. I will just call this the Floss Tube Extra uh, Whip Parade. Um, and let me show you a few things that aren't whips yet. Some things that uh, I might make into whips at some point. <laughs> But, yes, I'm back. Um, I still have a very limited time. So, um, I couldn't get enough uh, cleared off my phone to make very much time. Uh, so, we'll do what we can. If this cuts off, you'll know what happened. And um, I'll come back maybe next week and uh, finish up the... Uh, the little summer whip parade. So when I say summer whip parade, I'm not talking about like every whip I have. I'm talking about summer whips, things that would uh, be included under the genre of summer. Uh, so that's what I'm talking about in, for a summer whip parade. Uh, now, before I begin, I do want to show you something uh, while I was letting the, the Floss 215 upload, you all saw a finish that I had from a few years back, a patriotic finish. And I did uh, go ahead and FFO it. For me, that means put it in a, cut it down, put it in a frame. Um, Malia, my youngest daughter, who you all have, uh, some of y'all have met. Uh, I, she helped me decide. I had the perfect size frame for it. So um, I will show you the frame and then I will put it right back there in the empty spot on my shelf uh, to sit during the summer patriotic season. So, it's just in a wood frame, and that's how I finished it. And I'm having to hold it sideways because of the glare of the lights that's ahead of me there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. It's able to be displayed, and I, I am very happy with that. Uh, so that is uh, my finish that I did very quickly. <laughs> uh, so, and I was happy to have the frame because I am just not in any kind of condition to have to go out and look for frames. I just don't get out and do a lot of uh, shopping, looking around. I try to just uh, find what I have in the house already. So this was perfect. It, it was like it was meant for this piece. Okay, I will pause for just a minute and put this up on the shelf and we'll go on to uh, the summer whips. All right, I'm back ready to begin the summer whips so uh june 17th of this year will be the three three year anniversary of when i started uh my floss tube channel at that time uh i called it the woolly sheep woolly sheep stitcher and uh I started that very first episode or that very first floss tube with the whip that I am getting ready to show you. And this is ridiculous that I have not gotten this done. Uh, if some, some of you all will remember uh, this whip and know it well and uh, I started this whip amongst the um, 
pandemic uh, situation. And it was just full of color. And I loved the color. And I think that's one thing that drew me to this whip. And also it's a uh, kind of a seaside uh, whip. So this whip came from the Cross Stitch Gold uh, magazine. And uh, I happened to know Laura. Laura, who his, was one of my very first subscribers. Laura Stitcher, uh, who is now uh, on, has her own floss tube channel called I Stitch Birds. If you haven't heard of her channel, if you haven't watched her videos, you've got to go do so. Uh, I always knew that Laura would have a great floss tube channel if she ever did one. And she has blown it away. <laughs> so go watch Laura. I know they say this differently than that, her name. Uh, I don't pronounce her name quite right, but um, go watch her on her channel, I Stitch Birds, with a question mark. She's, she's had some awesome videos. So you've got to go check her, uh, her videos. Okay, so I say that to say that Laura was my very first, if not my first, subscriber when I started uh, my floss tube. She loves this particular project. Uh, so like I said, it's from Cross Stitch Gold by the Harbor. So, there we go. It's back. By the harbor it's back and okay so this throughout the years I would work on it and stop and work on it because it's got a lot of detail a lot of color changes a lot of uh, back stitching and um, it depended on my mood. Uh, the um, designer, Joanne Aston, let me, let me just show her. It, it, it's beautiful. She, she created a beautiful design. So here it is, right here. So that is gorgeous. So this was one of the first one of the very first uh, projects that I started my floss tube channel with. We're coming up on June. And uh, Laura, 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 I stitch birds, uh, is you're going to be happy to know that June, uh, my st stitching for June is this uh, piece. We're going to see if I can get this done in the month of June. Uh, everything else has to go on hold, which I'm only working on one other active whip right now. So that'll need to go on hold. And this is my progress. For those who haven't seen it, this is the progress that I have on this. Uh, so I still got a ways to go, but I, I, I think I can get some good stitching on this in the month of June. Uh, this is, I've got it on a 14 count, uh, just a light blue, sky blue fabric. So this is my June uh, whip that I'm going to work on and um, yeah, we'll see we'll see if I can get this done uh, 
hopefully I can, or hopefully I'll be so far into it that I won't want to stop and I will finish it. Okay, need to pause for just a second to get the next whip out. Okay, I'm back again. Um, okay, so the next whip that I want to show you is uh, also a seaside uh, stitch. I mean, anybody that knows me knows that I like to stitch uh, the seaside, ocean -y, all those types of things. Uh, so, this particular whip is called Harbor View. Uh, now, I cannot remember exactly when I started it. Uh, I'm thinking maybe sometime early in 2021, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, but I, uh, I don't have the exact magazine that I started it from. But I did buy this magazine a few weeks ago and it has the same uh, pattern in it, uh, the Cross Stitch Gold uh, Scenery Collection. Uh, the same pattern that I was working on is in this one. So it is called Harbor View uh, and it's beautiful. It is, it's, a beautiful piece. The designer's name is Carol Thor Thornton. Let me show you her name. Uh, right, right there. And oops, there is the design. Is that not gorgeous? I love all those colors. It's beautiful. So, I have just a very small start on this. It is also on a uh, 14 count uh, sky blue or ice blue, I think it was called at the time I bought it. Uh, the same color as By the Harbor uh, is what I started it on. So, very small, very small uh, start, but... There it is. There it is. So when I get, let me see, let me go back to the page it was on. Uh, that means I started, this is kind of hard, uh, right over there where you see the pink building, that's where I started. So, And this has so many, every time you look at it, when after you uh, buy this, uh, every time you look at it, you see something new that you didn't see before, which I think is very interesting about this. There's all these little things, these little hidden things <laughs> almost that I I didn't see when I first looked at the pattern uh, and then later I would see it and just everything is so adorable so beautiful so colorful in this it's Harbor View and like I said you can get it in cross stitch gold and speaking of that is is this not beautiful this will definitely be on my uh, list to uh, stitch up uh, at some point. I have so many things that I need to finish. So many whips. And while I'm at it, I know I said I was just showing summer whips. But I want to show something right quick. If I can find it, I'm going to run out of time on my phone. Uh, where did it go? 
right here. Those thinking ahead fall right there. They're beautiful. Okay, back to summer. Because I am going to do a fall whip parade when it gets to fall. Uh, but I just had to show that. that that's gorgeous. Okay, um, the next whip. Uh, let me get organized and I'll be right back. Okay, the next whip that I have, uh, I think I started this last year. Not sure, I remember talking about it last year on my channel, but it comes from uh, the Paula Vaughn book, The Romance of Paula Vaughn. And I have noticed uh, among several floss tubers that you know they're going back to the Paula Vaughn uh, stitching and I am so glad because I love to see uh, Paula Vaughn's work I have done quite a few of her things and I have really uh, enjoyed them in the past uh, the the piece that I started is gentle pastime and this is it beautiful for spring and summer but especially probably more spring looking uh, but I, I love I love this and I had mentioned the irises the purple irises back there remind me of my mother uh, we always had those growing out by our carport and those were planted if i'm not mistaken by my uh grandmother so um the whole time i was growing up they were there and they bloomed my mom wasn't really a flower guard gardener she didn't work with flowers but they took care of themselves and they were beautiful uh so they remind me of her and uh i started this on a 14 piece count of what 14 count ada a piece of 14 count ada and this is where i got to before i ended up stopping and now I'm a little bit, I'm not sure what to do because I changed the greens that were called for and I didn't write down what I changed them to. So will it make a difference if I go ahead and continue with this piece and not use the same green colors on the rest of the piece is it would it be that noticeable do you think let me know what you would do uh, because I didn't I didn't like the green colors that were called for in this so like I said I changed it but if I wrote it down, I don't remember where I put it, uh, put where I put the information. So that's kind of a struggle with me while I'm thinking of uh, if, if I'm going to start over or if I could, should just keep going with that. Something in me tells me just to keep going and it'll work out. So. We'll see. Uh, so I'm coming up on 20 minutes and I'm running out of time. I may have one more piece that I can show you. And then I will just have to plan to uh, finish this up next week. It'll give me a good reason to do a, another um, floss tube. 
So uh, let me pause while I look for this. Okay, the next uh, um, piece I wanted to show you or design is from Design Works. It's called Coffee Break. And I do not have uh, the whip to show you, but I will say I had like this square done and part of part of this uh, glass here. So not really a lot to show anyhow. Um, I uh, really love this. I really should be working on this. And um, I saw uh, for the first time, the first, this, this is the first uh, time I saw her floss tube, Floss, Floss's Corner, F-L-O-Z apostrophe S Corner. She was working on this. I saw her floss tube just the other day. So if you want to see it in progress, go watch her floss tube. Uh, it was gorgeous and really it made me want to get mine out and work on mine. So Floz's corner, F-L-O-Z apostrophe S corner uh, is her uh, floss tube name. Uh, so this is one of my whips. Uh, I'll explain why later, why I don't have uh, the whip that goes with this. Uh, so I'm going to be out of time in just a few seconds. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little miniature whip parade. Uh, I will um, make sure next time I have things to where I can have my phone cleared off and uh, plenty of time to film because I have a lot to tell. But until then, have a uh, great week and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Bye.